Welcome to the show. Let's talk to Ronnie Chopra, an author at Wall Street Wires. Morning to you, Ronnie. Let's do an equity special. Let's kick off with Sainsbury's. Um, now, you're a contrarian investor. I assume that you're on the ball on these. Yeah, I've been a contrarian on Sainsbury's for quite a long you time. You have. <laughs> but having said that, as you know, back in 2006, these were bid for by the Qataris at £6 a share. They're now under 250. Yep. Talking 10 years on, they still make decent profits. They're on a P ratio of about 11 or 12, a lot of value, they own their property. The market cap is far less than the value of their property portfolio. On top of that, earlier this year they acquired Argos, and the synergies, the benefits out of that acquisition are coming through, and they're better than expected. So it's very baffling to see these shares still languishing at these levels. Obviously, we've had a bull market run over the last few years, yet these have not participated at all. And it's, it is extremely strange. But again, then the Qataris bid for these, oh, they were in talks again about three or four years ago. Um, so they've tried to have a go twice. Uh, the last time they tried to, to buy them was in partnership with a Canadian private equity firm. Uh, but it didn't come to, to fruition. But, you know, they've, they've still got a massive stake in, in the company. We've got Morrison's figures out later on this week. Yep, so Thursday. obviously one of the big four yeah, on Thursday. So that might kind of give a boost to the sector. Right. Because, again, they've, they've languished. But having said that, you know, from earlier on in the year, they did pick up from 230 back up to 280. So they just come back down again. And with my minimal knowledge of technical analysis, it looks like it's a bit of a... Was it double bottom? That's, Pretty much. Yeah, I, we'll leave the charts for another day. But uh, in terms of dividend yield on yes, this, very attractive. I think it's something like five or six percent. Right. So again, with the interest rate environment, um, makes them even more attractive, doesn't it? Okay. Well, let's move on to your second chart, uh, Premier Oil, um, yeah. trading around about the sixty-five pence level. What do you think? In well, the, these have had a fairly good run since July. Um, they've they found. Uh, they, had, they had one of the largest oil finds of 2017. Uh, it's called the Zama find. Um, I think it's in South America. And so the shares have picked up a little bit, but they have a lot of debt. The market cap is only around 350, 400 million pounds, yet they have debt of 2 billion. Right. But yesterday they picked up about 5%. Earlier on this morning they were up a little bit again. And because oil is above $60 a barrel now, these are cash flow positive. And the forward price earnings ratio of these for 2019 is three. So if they were to reduce their debt, then you know the, these were trading well above two or three pounds a few years ago. And obviously with the high oil price now, th these are major beneficiaries of that. Okay, let's move on to your final selection, Dixon's car phone. Another one that's kind of, you know, took I think f far too large a, a fall when the uh, CEO came out with a profits warning end of August. Um, but again, these are pretty much half of where they were back in well June. I think the fall is well overdone. They have a huge presence in the UK, obviously with with the telephone market, you know, car phone warehouse, yep. and obviously in the electrical sector. They, they're pretty much, you know, they've, they've got the largest market share of, of, of selling electronics in the UK as well. So we've got Apple results out this week. And again, these are the ones that kind of should follow Apple quite closely because of the iPhone and how many phones they sell. Again, they are major beneficiaries of, of the sales of, of, of phones. So again, this one, I think the fall has been overdone. They're on a price earnings ratio of seven. They give a dividend yield of 6%. There was director buying last week, and below 180, I don't know why they're so low. So, they're a steal. Hope so. And in terms of actually going into their shops these days, have they upped their game, do you think? I think a couple of years ago they had a, a massive transformation, because their, their shops used to be quite dreary. And uh, now they look quite advanced and a lot more appealing. Right. Um, and, and also the thing with them is that they've, one of the concerns is that people sometimes go into their shops, look at the products, and then go and buy it on Amazon, right? Yeah. Or over the internet. So that is one of the kind of, kind of negatives for the company. But again, they're making huge profits. 
And uh, like I was saying, the price earnings ratio is only seven, and I think the dividend yield is close to six percent. So they, they are like very one, undervalued. It sounds like one for the back book for me, Ronnie. As always, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you.